If you've been watching our channel for a little while, you may remember we did a video uh, from South Wales in Sennybridge, where it was the Sennybridge Abandoned Tunnel. But we didn't know if it was uh, actually dug out completely or just abandoned halfway through or not even built at all. Um, it turns out, of course, that it was built and there's probably stuff still in there to this day. It's just buried. We've got a very similar story to tell today about the town of Swindon and in particular, an abandoned tunnel that went under Swindon Old Town. But before we tell you the story of Swindon Old Town's tunnel, you find us by another tunnel that was definitely built around about 12 miles further south. Swindon itself is roughly halfway between Bristol and London on the GWR main line. And that's perhaps partly the main reason it was chosen to be the main repair shop by GWR in around about 1943. It was completely set up then and almost overnight it transformed the town of Swindon from a population of under 3,000 to one of a bustling community. Swindon led the way with a number of firsts when it built its Mechanics Institute, a lending library, a health service, all paid for by subscription from the workers. Now, a lot of the local streets that were built up after this all took place were named after towns and cities you could visit directly from Swindon railway station itself. Swindon, however, is much less famous for its other railway, the Midlands and South Western Junction Railway, which would ultimately desire to join the north to the south. We're stood here now by the northern portal of the Marlborough Tunnel, 12 miles south of Swindon. So ultimately the line would run perpendicular to GWR and it went around the west side of Swindon over Rushy Platt. However, that wasn't the original plan and that is exactly where our journey starts today. So why did this significantly important railway, which was going to join the north to the south, take such an immediate deviation to the west around Swindon? The short answer is obviously cash, but the long answer is a lot more interesting. Let's head on up to Swindon and find out a little bit more. So we're now in Queen's Park in Swindon, and October the 13th, 1875, this part of the line started to be built. So we're here, right at the top of Queen's Park, that way is north down towards uh, the Swindon GWR main line. The goal was to bring the line from the south that was already built up towards Swindon, connected to GWR's main line. But what that would mean is a tunnel under Swindon's old town. A large crowd gathered here because perhaps they'd heard that this was to be a massive blunder, so they wanted to come and see for themselves. Did the crowd that had gathered here know something the contractors didn't? It certainly seemed that way. The ground here was extremely sodden. Mr Young, the first contractor, subcontracted the work to Mr Williams, who also himself soon gave up. Either lack of money from the company, or they realised that because the ground was so sodden, they were never going to make any headway into what would be the northern portal of this Swindon tunnel under the old town. Here's a couple of maps which show the exact route the tunnel was set to take under Swindon's old town. The company were faced with the decision that they had to do it themselves. And they did, they carried on for another six months and they bored their way further into this hill, but they had the same problem as the contractors. Things became very wet and landslide after landslide, they eventually gave up. Now, they decided to take a route around the west of Swindon towards Rushy Platt, which was of course bereft with problems in itself, but perhaps less than this section just here. It's not known exactly how far they got into this hillside. Did they build a portal? Did they get inside an actual tunnel itself before they gave up? This section here is part of the land which has subsequently been filled in. The story doesn't end there though. For the next 100 years or so, various properties existed on top of the area which has now been filled in. 
a coaching house, some stables, and a street eventually formed, which they now call Hunt Street, named after William Hunt of the GWR Works. So we're now stood on the embankment to what would have led up to the northern portal of Swindon Old Town Tunnel. How far they got, as I said, we don't exactly know. Presumably as far as New Road, which is now called Victoria Road, because some of the old maps we've shown here show the cutting right up to that. So thereafter it would have been filled in, and as we say, Hunt Street was formed. Now, from the 50s onwards, there was major problems here with landslips. Some of the residents up on Hunt Street now had significant concerns that they wouldn't have a property should things carry on completely unattended. The map here shows the significant problems they had in the 1980s with all the landslips. But come 1999, that didn't stop a chap called Richard Lay and his wife from applying for planning permission to build a house right above that original cutting. Richard Lay and his wife had to wait 17 months to get planning permission to build their property. And once they did, they were required to put 27 pillars into the ground under their property to ensure it was probably the safest house in Swindon. They named their house Tunnel House. And if you go to the website, which we'll put right here, you can see all of the history from the early 1870s, right up until today, when they detail all the newspaper cuttings, everything is on the website. It's a fantastic resource uh, if you're local and you want to explore some of the history of this long forgotten tunnel. Okay, hope you enjoyed that little video uh, about Swindon. What I want to try and do is a couple of minutes just to have a look exactly where the tunnel would have gone had it have been built, because we've got these really good old maps, really detailed old maps from the website I showed you. So let's get Rebecca's help as well, because she's quite good with the analytics side of things. Rebecca, Rebecca? I just, I just want to kind of do the whole map thing. Rebecca? Rebecca? Yes? Ah, do, you want to, do you want to stay on your side? Alright. Okay, so what I want to try and do, this is an old map uh, of the plan of the tunnel. So you can see the street on there and you can see the line they want to take. So the dotted line in the middle mm -hmm. is where the tunnel would have gone. So when it becomes just a thick line, that's just the alignment of the railway. Enter the tunnel, tunnel, I think that says tunnel entrance. So this is obviously a zoomed in section as well of the tunnel, which is there to there. This is a cross section of the tunnel itself. Now you put this sideways because that way is north and obviously you can read the road names. Yeah, that was the only reason I actually did it is because you can read the names. Right, actually. so we <laughs> should be able to align this and the curvature on this map. Pick a colour, any colour, uh, purple, blue or brown. Brown's a bit boring, let's go for blue. Right, so what we want to try and do is align this. So I'm going to call out some road names, you see if you can find them. Oh my goodness me. Um, so, Prospect Place, Bath Road. Oh, Prospect Hill, Prospect Place is there. Okay. And there. Right, well I know the tunnel entrance, we know already from the discussion in the video, that the tunnel entrance was going to be here. Oh, okay. Because there's the house of the that was built. Now the tunnel entrance was there, like that. Okay. Now we know down here, this is what I'm going to draw on here as well, so you can see it, people. And I'll do this in a different colour. I'll do it in brown because Rebecca doesn't like brown, it's boring. I've got the lid to You do the blue. This is the alignment of the now, not now at all because it was also dismantled. <laughs> this is the Midlands and South Western Junction Railway, the, the route that it took after the tunnel was abandoned. Obviously not with a big gap in the track because that could be awfully Well, there could be some painful. random points. So <laughs> the line was going to come up north here, continue straight into the tunnel, round into there and out that, and that side of the tunnel onto the GWR main line here, which would have been there. Um, we know it didn't, and it took this route around the west side of Swindon. So where exactly would the tunnel have gone? So on the lower end, well, we found Prospect Place, which you said is there, there, Prospect Place. Oh, it could be that one down there, yeah. So we know that it was gonna go right under there. So should we put a little dot? Yeah, can do. In blue, in blue. In blue, in blue, in blue. Right, then we've got Bath Road. Now Bath Road, I'm pretty sure, is this big one here. Ah, is that the one that hasn't got a name on it because it's kind of yes. not in it? Oh, that so. could be anywhere. So don't necessarily put a dot okay. yet because then we know we don't know where it went under. Then we've got Newport Street, which I think is this one. Okay. Again, so. not mapped on there. <laughs> that is Newport Street. So we can pretty much guess that that's going to be about there because obviously the alignment of that. Okay, so if we said that was there. Yeah. And probably... Yes, yeah, so that's Bath Road. That one. So you're right, it is almost just to the right of that junction. 
and then up and joined Prospect Place and then curved around. And we know it curved because it went down there. Prospect Place, that little lane. Okay. And if that's Abbey Lane, there's another junction. Okay, so. Are you more confused I, than you were before? Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I think, right, can I have the blue pen? You can have the blue pen. So I think we know it went up there. Sort of there, and then and to, the curve to the is beginning. at the end, like that. So I'm pretty sure <laughs> that is the alignment that the tunnel was going to take based on the street names, Bath Road, um, we've got there, um, Newport Street, which must be right at the end. So then if we can find Newport Street, then we've almost got the tunnel entrance. Must be that one. We said... Oh, I guess so, somewhere yeah, there, one of those. Or there is there that one. There. And then that one there is Bath Road. Yep. Prospect Place is that one there. Yep. And then we've got the curvature after Prospect Place, which is there. That makes sense. We're coming up to it. Yep, the curvature. That is perfect, isn't it? Yes. Right, so that is, we think, the alignment. I will put this on uh, close up as well, just in case you can't see it. We think we've worked out the alignment of what would have been Swindon's abandoned tunnel. Thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe. So many of you watch our videos but don't subscribe. And you keep on watching our videos. So Subscribe, people, come on. Yes, please. Um, right, and we'll see you next time.